This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hall test, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. A very quick supplementary video to the air to ground radar in the JF-17. We now have, and we've had for a few months now, but I didn't realize, expand and DBS modes. That means that we can not only see various targets on the air to ground radar, but we can move a speed over to them and we can zoom in on and look at them in more detail or even manipulate them if we have to and link it to the data link network so buttons for today air to ground mode to go into air to ground lock to create a spi unlock if you wanted to get rid of that spi s to left to cycle within map mode to expand dbs doppler beam sharpening one and two note in c mode we only get expand we don't get the doppler beam sharpening for some reason we are paused obviously it's whiteout condition so we have to use our radar we can't use our teapot in front of us are a whole bunch of stuff so air to ground mode get rid of the stick we want to have a look at these ships here shall we so tdc slew or you could use the binary keys to move the tdc over to these potential targets next we're going to lock a temporary speed Next, we're going to S2 left to go to an expanded mode. Wait for that to populate. S2 left again to go to a Doppler beam sharpening. Even further expanded. Let that populate. And EBS2, S2 left to go to an even further sharpening. A bit like the Hornet, if you drive the Hornet. And you can see we're in now maximum level of detail, maximum level of zoom. Once you're in here, we can move the spear around. So, for instance, if I slew off the top of the screen, note that the screen will follow me. It will take a while to refresh because obviously everything does with air to ground radar this level of detail. Lots of signals being processed. We can see here a bridge. We can see here a runway. We can see here a guy taking off on the runway or static on the runway. If we wanted to move our spear again, then if we wanted to bomb this bridge, we can. Uh, sorry, I haven't turned the sensitivity down yet. Just relock spear. We've now got the speed on the bridge. And if we wanted to go back to the ships, whoops, and we go. Um, we would you be using the actual freeze mode if we were live flying, but I've got it paused at the moment, which is why the image is so static. But you could just use freeze mode and, and do this otherwise. And there we go, and there's the ships. Now, if we wanted to, uh, let's go back out to expand. In fact, back out to start here. If we wanted to look at these ships here in a bit more detail, enable the system to realize that they're ships and then link them to the data link here, which is a really interesting thing to do. Well, first, let's turn the data link on. So, COM2, 199, the standard practice of turning the data link on. We're going to become a master, contributor. Then, I want to go to C mode, say that I'm hunting for ships. I want to make the system understand that these guys are ships and to do that I'm going to have to move the radar antenna down manually. I never really understood why I have to do this but I do with that guy there. I'm going to aim it down here you can see a few degrees so let's say eight nine something like that. Give it a few seconds to populate. You can see we've now populated these with bricks it understands they are actual ships that we can do things with and manipulate. First thing to say is that the data link network now understands that those I see those ships I know their ships and therefore it's put them on here uh, they're all overlaid each other because they're close but they each of them is a ship sign like this it has a two-dimensional coordinate and you can see them all there now if I wanted to lock one of those ships which I can do uh, move my guy over here and if I wanted to lock it's gonna lock one of those hopefully give it a second to update Let's try again. Lock. There you go. It's got one. Just clip to that one there on the end. It will also show a kind of cursor around the ship that I'm locking, saying that I am locking that one there. It's just some interesting things that we found that allow us to update our data link network with ships that we found and or are locking. I hope that update was useful and see you later.